Mm. Okay, so this is the acrostic part of uh, To Live Is To Die and that's the that's the acoustic part in the middle of the song. Okay, so I think, and uh, they actually play it on, uh, I think they play it on electric guitars, on clean mode of course. Um, I'm gonna play it on my classical guitar. Uh, so there's quite a lot of finger style picking going on here and uh, you will not be able to play it with a pick as you normally do, I think. Uh, maybe with hybrid picking. That's doable, but uh, I played with finger style picking. Uh, so we're gonna start with uh, the first bar. So it's gonna be. Oops. There. Okay. Uh, I mean, nothing, uh, nothing strange. This. And then, then you're gonna go to the G chord, second bar, and then E minor, and then we have this uh, thing, uh, whatever chord that is, just F in the bass anyway. Uh, it could be just like a D minor. Uh, with the third in the root or something like that. Anyway. Um, okay, like that. So uh, the first, uh, you're gonna play, you know, it's the whole section is like repeated five times. Uh, and there's another line actually that we will come to later, but the whole. Uh, acoustic part here is eight bars, right? And it's repeated five times. So the first time you play it, you're gonna have uh, this little hammer on in the first bar, first beat. Okay, that one. That hammer on is only played at the first repeat. And then the other four times you, only, you, you don't play the hammer on, you play, you know, C, the first fret here. Uh, so you play that directly. Okay, so first time, and then second, third, fourth, fifth time. Okay. Um. So, I mean, it's a quite simple song, a simple uh, melody. Uh, if you know your finger style picking, then you will you know, pick it up quite fast, I think. If you're not familiar with finger style playing, then, uh, well, you you will have to work on that, I guess. Uh, <laughs> uh, but basically, what we do here is that we that we use our thumb to pick, you know, bass strings whenever they show up. Usually, it's on E, A, and D. Uh, sometimes we use it actually even higher up, but not very often. Um, and then you pick the other strings with your other thing with your other three fingers, uh, and usually you know, you know if you read the books or whatever, uh, you usually put your ring finger on E on high E, and then you play uh, uh, B string with your middle finger and uh, G with your index finger. But you know you, you can switch that, you know, you can go up and down with those fingers, so you can play, you know, if you're gonna play a scale on one, on one string, then obviously you, you're gonna play, you're gonna use, you're gonna use your uh, many fingers on one string, so, um, 
So I would just you know, recommend you know pick you know use any fingers that you are comfortable with, you know, for the moment. And uh, if you like, if you you know, if you never played finger style before mm. and you like it, then I will recommend that you uh, that you find some lessons on finger style playing so you kind of learn that technique more uh, properly. Uh, but for now, if I play slowly, you can just follow my fingers, maybe right hand fingers, and see how I play, and you may want to uh, pick it up from there. part of that uh, acoustic uh, section and then the second part All right and that's that part is obviously connected to the first part and, they, and then you play both parts together okay and without any break so you play them together five times uh, I think it's yes, five times, but yeah. Uh, so okay, so if I play it slowly. It's kind of inaudible almost, but it's there, and um, yeah, so don't, don't worry too much if you don't make a clean pull off here. Okay, um, so that's for the acoustic clean section part, I hope you like that, and um, we'll see you in the next lesson.